Hello there. Welcome to another edition of Dateline Lagos. Well, this is the last edition in the month of November in the year 2016. Something to be grateful for. I'm Loretta Chiogo. Here's the highlight of what's coming on the program. Reactions trail Lagos State Government's decision to stop the monthly environmental sanitation exercise of over 20 years. Lagos State Government moves to strengthen community policing as Governor Akil Miambode inaugurates Neighborhood Safety Corps. Governor Ambode inspects housing and road projects in Ekbe, promises more delivery of housing units for its teeming population. Now let's begin with environmental issues. The state government says considering the present economic situation in the country, it was no longer appropriate to restrict people's movement for three hours in a mega city like Lagos at a time they should be pursuing commercial and entrepreneurial activities. Well, the statement follows the cancellation of the monthly environmental sanitation exercise in the state. Now, how are residents reacting to this? Take a look. It is business unusual on the morning of the last Saturday in the month of November. Major roads and streets in Lagos are busy with vehicular and human movement on a day previously dedicated for cleaning of the environment. For about 20 years, Lagosians had been used to staying at home in order to partake in the mandatory monthly sanitation exercise which lasted for three hours between 7 and 10 in the morning. Unless for obvious reasons, the Lagos State Government would not suspend the exercise. But barely 72 hours to another round of the exercise, the Lagos State Government announced its stoppage. The State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Mr. Steve Ayorinde, said the decision to cancel the monthly exercise followed a resolution arrived at at the State Executive Council meeting. He cites economic reasons. There are better ways, there are more effective ways of looking after the environmental needs of a mega city of Africa's fifth largest economy than shutting down the, you know, the same economy that we are trying to promote for three good hours. We, 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 we were very clear about that. We were really, really very clear about the fact that uh, uh, it will be a lot more injurious uh, to the economy, particularly at this time that uh, uh, many states in Nigeria, as indeed a number of countries uh, all over the world, you know, are struggling uh, uh, financial-wise, economy-wise. It won't, it won't make any sense, frankly, uh, to continue to shut down the economy for three hours on a Saturday. I think that a state like Lagos has grown beyond um, the reasons why 20 years ago uh, people felt that you needed to ask people to stay at home, you know, just to clean their environment. Although there is no official figure of how much the state loses within the dedicated hours, according to the commissioner, it runs into billions of naira. You can crunch the figures, but, but uh, the, the, the only sense is not to convince anybody about what figures uh, uh, we were losing. After all, if it were to be a public holiday, you know how we say in Nigeria that a certain number of hundreds of billions you know, uh, must have been lost to a public holiday. Divide that by, I don't know, you know, by, you know, take three hours out of, out of uh, active 12 that you will have wasted in quotes for a public holiday. And you see that we are talking in terms of billions of naira. We're talking in terms of people losing revenue, people, people not having access uh, to their businesses, to their social needs, to uh, possibly even their medical emergency needs. The Lagos State Government might be convinced of taking a good decision, but how well does it go with residents? Though most are aware of the cancellation, they have divergent reactions to it. I'm very happy that the sanitation is cancelled. Because in Lagos, they do sanitation that's uh, in the market and shops every Thursday. So it will not be good to waste one hour on Saturday again. 
spending three or four hours doing sanitation, time that will be used to do other things. So as they cancel, the sanitation is good so that people can use that time to do other things and uh, generate incomes in the economy. I dislike it in the sense that it will make Lagos to be very dirty. But with all these laws now, everybody will be going about their, their respective uh, duties and works. They will, they will forget to keep the surroundings clean. If you go around this Oguri now, you will see where people are dumping, dumping the refuse, every corner. So in the next, in the next one week or two weeks, everywhere will be filthy. They normally do one on Thursday. At least that one is okay because they, if they cancel it, we will stress so many things. Like people that go to work in early morning, they cannot go to work. Or you'll be in a hurry and police will arrest you and you can't pay money. So I think the way they cancel it is better. Many people, they are using the opportunity to clean their house. Talk lot of environment. So as far as Lagos State have already cancelled it, many people will not even bother to do anything anymore. Even Sunday. They, look, they need to find a way to go out instead of them to stay out and clean their room. So we need to change it back. We don't need, the way they cancel it, I'm not supporting it. Cancelling environmental sanitation in, in Lagos State is of two ways. The system is filled with uh, dirty all over. I don't really know if there's another way they will bring out that will be helping the whole people of Lagos State to be cleaning their environments. Uh, after all, it has been helping us to keep Lagos clean. But if the system said they're cancelling it, well, let them provide another system of keeping our environment clean. The essence of the exercise, which restricts human and vehicular movement, is also believed to have been abused. People don't even do that sanitation. They sit down in their house. After the hours, they come out. Kai is not going around. Do you understand? To quiet, people will be monitoring that the environmental is being is being uh, taking place. Those that you might think are actively engaged in cleaning their houses um, may just be government people, uh, those that are galvanized by either local government authorities or people that are related to government. Because you know, of course, that as, gov as government, uh, we move around you know, the state just to ensure that uh, 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 the, 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 the city is clean. If you're playing football, um, in your compound, or maybe on the street, that would be an abuse. But frankly, how many people are you going to, you know, arrest? It's not allowed that they should play football. But if they're playing, you know, at the back of their houses, what the law says, or, or, or what the policy as of that time, you know, said was that um, restriction of movement for three hours between seven and ten, and use the time, you know, to look after the environment, to clean your surroundings you know, to dispose of your waste, etc. The Lagos State Government says it is still mindful of its responsibility to ensure a clean and habitable environment and plans to accelerate fresh reforms towards maintaining environmental cleanliness. There will be uh, an environmental advisory council as part of the total reform that we are talking about that will come. Uh, uh, eminent personalities in the state uh, knowledgeable people who, from time to time, will advise the government. Uh, there will be an environmental trust fund, pretty similar to what we have done with security and what we are doing with the uh, employment. We have something like that for the environment. Uh, all these are designed uh, not necessarily to, to make things a lot more stringent, but to make things a lot easier, uh, bring in private money, um, harmonize all billing platforms for those who, you know, for how refuse is being collected all across the state and ensure that there is efficiency, you know, it is the efficacy of the system that we are interested in. Would that require people complying with the law? Without a doubt, yes, they will, people will have to, you know, to comply. Uh, maybe in terms of, you know, billing, in terms of uh, what you are expected to have, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, laws and policies on on, on lit, you know, liters, you know, and all sorts, uh, but they wouldn't be new things. They, they will be things that people have already, uh, you know, uh, have become accustomed to. Uh, for anybody that is decent, for anybody that, that, that um, uh, is sanitation conscious, you know, it won't be anything uh, different. But the same way that you will expect that if there's a law that bars 
a commercial uh, motorcyclist from riding on the highway, or a hawker from selling on the highway, or a taxi or a, an ordinary car or damfo from, you know, taking one way, from driving ag against the traffic. It is the same way that the law will have to frown at any form of uh, infractions or transgress transgressions as far as the environmental laws of Lagos State are concerned. The compulsory monthly environmental exercise was not only observed in Lagos. Neighboring states like Ogun, Oyo, Oshu and Ondo took after Lagos. Would this action send a discouraging signal to them? How you will assess your own needs uh, may be slightly different from that of Lagos. You will have to weigh uh, uh, the parameters based on the needs of your own state. Uh, would we have communicated a negative signal? I do not think so whatsoever. Uh, because as a matter of fact, it's a positive signal that we are sending to investors, to visitors, to travelers, to tourists, to say that we can't shut down the economy, but we can look after the environment and waste management in a more creative and a more proactive way than we were doing before. I think that's more positive. For now, the monthly sanitation exercise is no more. The state government may be tougher in enforcing laws against environmental contraventions. Lagosians would have to get used to this change and imbibe a culture of voluntarily maintaining and preserving the environment to create a beautiful and healthy city for all. The fight against crime and all forms of criminality would be better enhanced if efforts are get towards enhancing community policing to complement the police and other law enforcement agencies. These were the words of Governor Akio Miambode at the swearing-in ceremony of the chairman and members of the board of the state's neighborhood corps. The main trust of any responsible and responsive government in a democracy is to ensure the safety of lives and property of its citizens. Security is better guaranteed when it is available in all nooks and crannies. I will be faithful. I will be faithful. In pursuit to the Lagos State Neighborhood Safety Agency law, but enabled the establishment of a safety corps, a board is inaugurated. I will not discriminate. I will not discriminate on the basis of religion, on the basis of religion, tribe, tribe, cult, cult, status, or practice, or practice, or any form of partiality, or any form of partiality. The board is in place with the responsibility to operate and administer the agency. Its core function is to recruit suitable people as core members. Its mode of operation will essentially be in intelligence gathering, protection of lives and property, maintaining law and order, among others, are the grassroots. You agree with me that the police and indeed all other security forces within the states and even the country at large are quite stretched and some form of community or local policing is required to boost and support the great job the Nigeria police is presently doing. The creation of this agency marks another step towards ensuring the protection of lives and properties at the grassroots level. Cop members recruited by the agency are meant to interact with the people at the community level. It is expected that with the visible presence of the cop members within a particular community, the likelihood of crime will be drastically reduced. The agency replaces the neighborhood watch with the responsibility of assisting the police. And they have passed to recruit eligible persons as COP members in all the local government areas in the states. We must emphasize that the agency is not meant to compete, but to complement the efforts of the police force. The board is chaired by retired Deputy Inspector General of Police, Israel Alao. Governor Ambade urged members of the board to see their appointment as a call to duty. I want to thank His Excellency and express our deep appreciation of the confidence imposed in us. And I want to state that we shall hit the ground running. We have to go to the grassroots because that's the essence of this agency. As you may know, sir, community policing or community law enforcement stands on three legs. Participation, 
their representative, and then accountability. Once we take these three key factors into the communities, make them to be part of us, tell them we are representing them, and then we are invariably accountable to them for all that goes on in each of these localities. I'm sure they will realize the importance of what we have done to this side and also support us to make Lagos very safe. Members of the board are drawn from various ministries in the state, the Lagos State Police Command and from the Department of State Security. While reiterating the determination of his administration to commit resources to ensure success of the objectives of the agency, Governor Mbote said its realization would make Lagos a place where residents and all intending foreign and local investors do business in safety and comfort.